Hey everybody, welcome here to a special hometown highlights first edition for the 2010 11 high school basketball season and athletic directors really packing in plenty of games before the holiday break. Lots of good ones, especially in the Lake Michigan Northwest Conference Challenge. That's proven to be a very good thing for high school basketball here in Northern Michigan. Good matchups, great finishes, and we had more of the same tonight. And a crowd in Glen Lake, like usual, pumped up for this one. We join him in the third quarter. Tom Burrell, the three for Grayling, quiets that crowd later. More Vikings dump pass down to Griffin Dean for the lay -in. They're up 51-38. Then back comes Glen Lake. Little Carter Lee, nice jumper, nothing but net there. It's 41-51, but Grayling answers back. Steven Enos, you see him plenty on the football field. A great basketball player, too. Big board and the lay-in. On to the fourth, we go Zane Tobin, the quarterback in football. Great feed there to Tom Burrell for the lay-in, but it's Glen Lake's QB Carter Lee answering with a quick 372-73. Glen Lake, though, gets caught, doesn't get back in transition. Scott Parkinson, he gets back for the lay-in and the foul. He hit one free throw, missed one. Important there. Carter Lee gets the ball back, hits another clutch three score. Now 73-74, Glen Lake with the ball back. Curtis Bunnick drives and goes to the line. He would hit the first and calmly knock down the second. Glen Lake takes the one point lead. What a comeback for them. Grayling the one last shot here. And a good look at it, but it doesn't fall. The gym erupts. I'm surprised they didn't storm the court there. Oh, they started to. Fourth quarter comeback complete. Glen Lake goes on to win it. Big win, 75-74. Let's stay with the Lake Michigan Northwest team. Traverse City St. Francis at Kingsley. Some nice stuff here from St. Francis. Damon Sheehy, Giuseppe, the ankle breaker, and then everybody touches it. Michael Jenkins finishes. Glads were up big in the third, 62-20. No quit in the stags, though. Jack Akabach with the three. But back down comes Jenkins inside. Glads win it handily here, 71-24. Not pitcher Sean Sheldon. He had 23 points. Second time already this year we've seen bodysuit man at Misek. Little zebra stripe boxers over it. I like it there. Couple, couple sleepers maybe here. Misek and Harbor Springs. Misek down, but there's a nice jumper there from Ben Kloss or from Jesse Hoffman. This is Ben Kloss for the Rams, putting them back up 13 in the first quarter. Sean Bates has an answer and he works hard. Great energy on the court, good motor. More Bates. After this play, he's going to work the give and, glow, give and go with Clayton Wagatha. 19-11, Rams up just eight, but they got a pretty nice looking post player in Neil Zorhoff. He's going to put them back up 10 with a nice bucket there. They go on to win it 69-41. to 41. Well, I think a lot of people are going to find out that Buckley is going to be a tough place to play. Check them out here. That's Evan Chalker with the big block on Kalkaska here in the second half. The Bears were up big, but credit Kalkaska. They're playing hard. Caleb Gelinas here makes it 48-21 Buckley. Then Caleb Hauser here with the bucket. Buckley no field goals in the second half until four minutes in, and it's Austin Bermania. Bermania running wild, brother. He was running all over it. All the Bermaniacs were going wild. The only thing that would have made it better if it was in Sky Dome. 71-41, your final Buckley wins it. Let's go to Gaylor. Battle of the Big North Conference here. Toski, the defending chance, playing like it tonight. Off the tip, they get hot early. Hunter Pawlowski finds Jake Mullen for the Northman train. Next time down, Zach Lewis to Mullen. He pulls the trigger. 6-0 run to start the game. Blue Devils climbing back. Zach Lundell, nice feed to Austin. Pearson, 9-4, Petoskey up five later in the quarter. Mullen dishes out some candy to Zach Lewis, who takes that wrapper and drains the long two. It's the holidays. you got to be in the giving mood. 13-4, Petoskey, they roll on to a game in this one. We've got plenty. The Traverse City, St. Francis, and Kingsley girls came into this season high expectations, both teams, and they've both been impressive early this season, both conference contenders and looking like solid playoff teams tonight. Maybe a playoff preview, and that's what it looked like. We're going to pick things up late. Crunch time, lots of timeouts towards the end. We're under three minutes to go. And it's a four, six point lead for the Glads here. Michaela Ludka with the nice block, so they lead by six. Two minutes to go. Emily Fossil coming back for the Stags, puts it up 39 35. Glads on top. 
Fossil, their leading scorer, though, would foul out, so they're looking for other answers here, but that's Liza Erickson for St. Francis with a nice steal, so it's still a four-point game. Under 30, same score to go. Great pass. Kenzie Meeker to Amory Sanchez makes it 39-37. Keep it rolling here. Tyler Rawlings with the steal, but she's going to turn it back over to St. Francis. Stags foul. Glad's hit both free throws. Under 20 to go. They lead by six. Cassie Williams with the steal, and they literally hang on there to win it. And you get some good highlights there from St. Francis without even seeing a bucket. It was great defense down the end for them. They win it 42-37. Let's switch gears now to hockey. Weekend tournament kicking off at center ice this afternoon, featuring two of the biggest hockey co-ops in the state, the Bay Reps and the Northwest Warriors. First period for the Warriors. Goalie Luke Samsel was nice. Nice stop here on the scrum in the front of the net. Then a point blank save is going to come up on the wrist stop. Samsel had it going on. Unstoppable early, but late in the first, the Warriors a 1-0 lead. The reps are going to get on the board. Zach Hill breaking through on the wrister. Seconds later, Hill is going to be coming down the ice looking for number two. And a nice deke, but an even better kick save from Sansa. Six great saves in the first. Still, the reps led 2-1 after one. They went on to win it big in this one.